create a new project by going to file, new, set this to 1280 times 720, put it on 75 for the resolution, have the color on RGB color, keep it on 8-bit, transparent, press OK. Once you've got yourself a new project, you want to get the bucket tool, pick a color, press OK, left click on the screen, get yourself the text tool, go back to color, change it to white, left click on the screen and drag it out, type in your text, drag the corners back in, go to the first tool, go to the second tool, left click and drag it out, go back to the first one, center it and press Ctrl and D to deselect. Left click on the text layer, go to blended options, you want to get yourself bevel and emboss, contour, stroke, inner shadow, satin, color overlay, and drop shadow. Start off with the first one, so you want to set this one to outer bevel, smooth, put this to 130, change the size to 13, have it on zero, soften, keep the direction on up, Leave this on normal, change the glass contour to this one right here. Then you want to make sure this is on normal. Put this to 40%. Change the shadow mode to normal and put this one on 40% as well. Next up, you go to contour underneath it and set this one to this one right here and take the anti alias. Next, you go to stroke. Set this one to 3 pixels, keep it on inside, have it on vivid light, leave the opacity on 100, change the color to gradient, keep the default one, put this to 87, move it on to inner shadow, make sure it's on multiply, black color, have it on 35, 3, 0 and 8 for the size, and that is pretty much it for that one. Next up you have satin, you're going to set this one to 75, put this to a white color and set this one to soft light. Put this on 39 and then the size on 13. Leave these ticked and then go over to color overlay. In the color overlay, you want to set this one to 21 and change this, <clears throat> change the color to a white and blue. And the very last one, go to drop shadow and set this one to 80. Keep it on multiply, black color, leave this on normal, put this to zero, have the spread on zero and set this one to 25. Leave the rest as it is, press OK. And now all you gotta do is set this one to darken. And there you go.